Hello, <laughs> exhausted and dirty and sweaty, and you're not supposed to have baseball in here. What do you have? That's supposed to go outside. Did you bring that in? Ugh. Anyway, I was just spending the last hour moving all my plants to the backyard. I don't know if they're gonna die back there. I don't know what the sun is like. They're all up here. I had to put them somewhere, not on the patio, because he's gonna do it in a pressure wash that. And not where the mower goes across on Fridays with the big mowing machine. So I had to go up where there's mulch on either side. Some of them are in empty mulch beds. At least have a tree. But Danny's gonna pressure wash both the front and the back. So I had to move everything. Really, they need, that's just been the best spot for them out there. And yeah, so I've been Moving all those, then I had to get all the pots and planting supplies off of the table out there. So that is empty. I'm just being, that was a, an exhausting hour. I don't know how long they're gonna have to be out there because I think he wants to stain it and he has to let it dry for a couple days and then get stained and nobody can walk on it. So I might be spraying up the bug spray and going out there many many times a day to water for the next week <sighs> but this morning we had dunkin donuts so i could do some grocery shopping i just didn't feel like placing the online order though i realized how much easier that is it is totally weird going through with a big shopping cart and a grocery store plus it's a grocery store i don't really know well but I did want to get myself a cake. It's just they didn't have a mini cake of my favorite flavor, which is yellow cake with chocolate icing. So we just each chose a slice for tomorrow. Because tomorrow's my birthday. I just got some normal groceries. I needed stuff that's only at like the big grocery stores, like paper towels. Oh, it's so itchy. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna be feeling my allergies later. Right now I'm okay. My nose is just a little drippy, but anyway, I need to sit and get on my computer for a little bit and then I should probably start painting or something, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Danny should be up soon to start pressure washing and he might need me to help move the furniture off, but I don't know. Yeah, that's my little update.
everyone. Sebastian is changing, so I will come over here for a minute and try not to point at the door. I think we talked, yeah. I talked when I moved all those plants. After that, Danny pressure washed. He forgot the gate, so he's bummed about that. We needed to pressure wash all the the new fence parts that he's built so we can paint them. But he'll do that tomorrow or this weekend. I cannot put the plants back yet because we are going to be staining the deck. But we did put the furniture back up because we couldn't leave it out in the grass. Hey, get changed. So while he's doing that, I was looking at day two of Amazon's Prime Days. Pretty much I'm like going through my lists that I have and seeing if anything goes on sale and then comparing like competitor brands. But yeah, I did get some things. I mean, today I got wood in the mail, like balsa wood, basswood for crafting dollhouse furniture, but that was not on sale. I just, there wasn't any deals on that. I just chose something that was the best value and quality. But I have ordered some Prime Day deals. I ordered a new set of paints. I like the little ones. These are actually a little bit bigger, but it was only like six something for the whole set, so that's awesome. I don't know when that's coming, sometime soon. And then, this is from yesterday. And also yesterday I found a dollhouse dining table with four chairs that went on sale for $9, I think. Yeah, and so, I ordered two of those because usually they're like $15 a set, maybe $13 at the cheapest. So I needed tables for the cafe. And even though I'd rather have like a circle table or a square table and I might build some little ones to go between like, I'm shiny, between cozy chairs, I do want to have like actual tables because it'll be a cafe with food and coffee. So those were yesterday. Today, I decided I would look through the miniature kits that I normally get. Oh, there's two that I put on my wish list. I think my wish list is linked down below so you can see them. They're the most recent additions that I want to do those eventually and actually like do them up well. But I was looking at kits today for ones that have plants and food items that I can use as accessories because spending like $25 on one of these kits getting me like a dozen plants and like 10 beautiful cakes or little food items is so much cheaper than getting all those accessories. <sighs> it's ridiculous how much dollhouse stuff costs and I enjoy making them and there's other parts that I can use. So I chose a kit that was like garden and food so I should be able to use stuff. I can't use furniture from those because those are one, one inch equals 24 inches scale, so 124. And my dollhouse is 112, so one inch equals one foot. But the food generally is fine and like looking at the pictures, like the slice of cake on the table looks way too big for the scale. The scale is always really weird in this set. Some things are too big and some things are too small. But yeah, I just zoomed in on a lot of pictures and settled on a set. That doesn't come till Monday, which is a bummer. I can't work on any of that on the weekend. But yeah, I did not order those two sets that I just saw because they're so cute that I don't want to take them apart to put into the big doll house. I just want to do them as sets. <laughs> and I'd be too tempted to steal things from them and then they wouldn't have all their cool parts. But yeah, I ordered that. And then while I was searching through all those, I found the kitchen, dollhouse kitchen that I had on my dollhouse list, which is not linked anywhere. It was in a special bundle and the price Oh my gosh, the price is so good. Like, the price I would pay if I got all the cabinets, it's like four cabinets, one of them is a stove and one is a sink, and then I'd have to buy a separate refrigerator. 
the price of all those things combined is the price of this bundle which had all those cabinets the fridge i wanted except it's white instead of stainless a dining table and four chairs this one white instead of natural but i'm going to be painting the other ones that i got i don't know if that will fit in the room but i can use it as another cafe table and it also comes with accessories like pots and pans and four spice jars like spice jars little teeny ones you'll pay like ten dollars just for those because people charge so much and there's like a little coffee carafe that'll be perfect for the cafe, though I still need a coffee maker. And uh, yeah, I went back and forth a long time because it was like $45 for this whole set, but uh, I'm never gonna see that price. And it's my birthday tomorrow, so I was like, happy birthday to me. <laughs> it's all white. I think I might try to make the countertops black marble, maybe. Yeah, I'm, thinking, I'm leaning towards that and I won't be able to finish that room for a little bit because I think I'm gonna order tile from Etsy, like fake tile. They emboss like a vinyl sheet with the tiles to make it look really 3D. Otherwise I have to print it out and it's just 2D. I know, so that's what I did. And then I did a painting. I did a mini pop Ross. Well, first I glazed the kitty cat painting. You didn't see that but it is all sealed and glossy and looking spectacular. It always just takes it to the next level. And then I decided to follow a Bob Ross tutorial. I just randomly picked one and it's a little muddy. I need one that's like has less going on. There was, it was in, a, it's called Marshland. So it has a swamp and trees with moss and stuff. So a little muddy. I ended up not being able to really truly follow his tutorial because I'm using acrylic and not oil. Acrylic dries so you can't blend it. It took me a while to get the background at first because it kept drying and also I can't use the same brushes because I don't have microscopic fan brushes and stuff so I was just I would just do each step my own way just make it match so I was pausing every now and then to try and figure it out but I would say I only did double the time that the actual episode took, maybe at the best. After I finished that, I went outside and watched the satisfying pressure washing of the sidewalk. I don't know why that's as satisfying in the furniture. And then I put the furniture back up, heated the table, but not putting anything else out because as I said, we've got to take it all back off <laughs> for when we stain it this weekend. But then Danny washed up because he was so muddy from pressure washing and we went out to a burger restaurant because our family calendar said it's Friday <laughs> National French Friday we went to the place that Danny hates it's actually the place where I like the veggie burger patty the most but unfortunately oh, their service is just they always get my food wrong because I don't get cheese on it and I don't get the sauce I just want it non-dairy there's already a little bit of dairy in the patty I don't want any more dairy I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> it's always wrong. So of course, it was wrong. D Danny didn't even come out with it when the pager went off. He was like, they're remaking it. So he goes back in, but it still wasn't ready. So they, he said they were bringing it out. Somebody comes out and like, do you still want tomato? I'm like, no, only lettuce, nothing else. And he comes out and it has lettuce and sauce on both sides of it, the bun. So like, I ended up having to lose all the bun. And I washed my lettuce with my water. Uh, I still could taste the sauce and it was not good. It was like Thousand Island dressing. So that was disappointing, but the burger patty was still yummy. It's my favorite, it's quinoa. And we had fries. So we got home after eight. I was planning on braiding because I still have 30 braids and it would be nice to be done for my birthday, but I'm not going to be because it was after eight and I have to get him to bed at nine and it takes like 10 minutes to set up and 10 minutes to clean up. So I would have had like 30 minutes to braid. It's just not worth it. And I was like, well, maybe I'll braid after he goes to bed. But now I'm feeling real tired from my allergies hitting my eyes. I was great this morning. I was great until like 6 p.m. honestly. But now all that time outside, 
think I'm just gonna be echoing all right there. And it's almost the weekend. And I always can braid a lot on the weekend, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Hey, do you wanna say goodnight? Yeah. I can come to you. Who's gonna say goodnight? Next time I see you, I will be one year older. Birthday tomorrow. I was born at 5.25 a.m. So I'll be asleep when I level up. I call it leveling up. Is that just somebody driving by? Yes. All right, we're gonna say good night though. I'll see you tomorrow. There's whiskers. Good night. Stay safe, be kind, and don't forget. Oh, yeah. Wash your hands.